Hi, I'm Jeffrey Peters with Precision Digital Corporation, and this is our Vigilante 2 Annunciator. Vigilante is available in two configurations, one of four inputs and one of, one of eight inputs, and it accepts uh, contact closures from things like pressure switches, temperature switches, level switches, flow switches, could be uh, open collector transistor, logic level, or maybe even relays from a digital panel meter, any kind of thing that generates a switch closure. Now you'll notice that the, that the uh, Vigilante is housed in a nice shallow depth eighth din enclosure with a NEMA 4X seal, screw terminal connectors for easy wiring, and it's also a, a UL listed product, also CE marked has a universal power supply of anywhere between 85 and 265 volts AC. It can also be operated off of 24 volts DC. So it's very versatile in that respect. It will accept any one of the eight most common ISA alarm sequences, so you can program for just about any kind of alarm operation you want. And also it can have free custom message labels printed on the front, so an operator can can uh, specify exactly how he wants his alarms to work. In fact, if you look over here at the, uh, the demo unit that I've got, you'll see this, this operator has specified exactly what they want to show on their message labels. So for instance, this first one is uh, train loading conveyor problem, emergency pull, okay? And then the rest of them are all custom labels. So what the Vigilante demo here does is provides an easy way to demonstrate how the Vigilante works. For instance, these eight switches over here are simulating the inputs. These three switches over here are connected up to the three front panel switches right here, so we're showing that we can have a remote silence button, a remote act button, and a, a remote reset button. And finally, these switches over here are used to program the various alarm sequences. So there's a dip switch on the back of the of the uh, Vigilante that's used for that, and we just brought them out to these toggle switches to make it easier to program. So, the way the Vigilante works is, when an alarm occurs, and what I'm gonna do first of all, I think I'm gonna program this for what's called uh, ISA sequence A. And I just rearranged the uh, dip switches on the front to do that. Goes through a warm-up seat, and now it's ready for operation, so, when an alarm trips, a light lights up, a horn sounds, and you'll notice these two relays uh, tripped down here. So, operator silences the alarm, and then acknowledges it, but we still have the alarm condition present, so it, the light will stay on until the switch is closed again. Now that's what we call a, a maintained alarm. Now what happens if you get a momentary alarm? It goes on and then back off again. Well, you'll notice the light, everything stays on. So the operator knew which, which uh, alarm triggered until the silence button is pressed and the act button is pressed. So the vigilante will deal with both maintained and momentary alarms. That sequence I just demonstrated was called ISA sequence A. Now another particular uh, sequence that's useful is called ISA sequence F2A. And I can program that by throwing this switch over here. And what sequence F2A does is it indicates which alarm occurred first. So I throw that switch into alarm. And now you can see we're getting alarm over here, it's flashing. Now the next ones, you'll notice are steady. So the operator knows that this was the first alarm that occurred because it's flashing. Once again, when they silence the horn, acknowledge them, you'll notice that the uh, lights went to steady, and they'll stay steady until the alarms go back out again. So one really nice thing about the Vigilante is it's extremely versatile and you can set it up in the field for whatever particular application you might want. So we encourage you to think of the Vigilante when you're uh, thinking about putting some pilot lights and horns and that kind of thing on your panel because this is a much neater package. It looks a lot nicer. You get the free custom message labels. 
you get the built-in logic, you get the, whole, you get the lights, which I should also mention are bright enough that they can be seen outdoors in the bright sunlight. And of course, you get the two relays that you can drive external prices. So we think the Vigilante 2 is an extremely useful product, and we encourage you to use it whenever you can.